coming up our gate. They're coming down Chickasaw Trail. They're heading their way. Oh. Walking them your way, Dusty. Oh, you knuckleheads. Go back to your home. Don't put any pressure on them. Let them go. Let them go. Let, Let them go. Decide. Hello. Hey, they're out on they're out on Chickasaw Trail. Okay, what? You just stop by. The bison are out on Chickasaw Trail. They're headed towards Fairview Road. Okay. Oh God. Um. I, that's all I know. I think that I don't know. That's it. She just stopped by and said that they're all out. So. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll call you in just a second. We'll head up that way. Okay. All right. Put your seatbelts on. So, our bison got out. Open up our gate! They're coming down Chickasaw Trail! Hey, hey, hey! One of my biggest fears of being a bison rancher happened. Hey, hey, girls, hey, girls, open up our gate! You gotta press and put our code. Here's how it all went down. Shortly after releasing the hoss herd into their beautiful new pasture in the 80-acre burn unit, some unfortunate circumstances happened. In the past, we've had issues with the neighbor's cattle getting on our property through this one particular creek crossing. With all the flash flooding and rain we've had lately, we were really worried about this particular spot. Cole and I were down in the bottom pasture doing some filming while Marissa was outside in front of the barn. A lady pulls up in a frantic to the Ponderosa barn, starts yelling, and says that the bison are out. Marissa immediately calls me in a panic. We quickly respond, and we start heading up to the Ponderosa barn. Cole and I make it to the front of the property. We tell Marissa we're going to go find them and to get ready. About a half a mile down the road from our front gate, there they were, out in the middle of a neighborhood. Okay. Hey, 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 come here. It looks like they had escaped through our neighbors, which is a 40-acre pasture between us and the main road of Chickasaw Trail. Once we pulled up into this neighborhood, I was able to slow them down a little bit. I got Hoss's attention, went to pick up a feed sack, and it was wet, and the bottom of it fell out. So all the feed spilt at one place, unfortunately. And put our code, and it'll stay open. Hey, Hoss. My first thought was, let's control the traffic. Let's let people know that there's bison out on this road. This is a main important road, heavily trafficked. Well, the females kept moving. If we could get them on Chickasaw Trail, the main road, we could get them to go north. And the idea was to have Marissa set up a blockade. They're heading their way. Okay. Oh. In the meantime, they go to a neighbor's property where it's kind of cornered off. A creek runs through this certain portion of the property. No, we've got feedback. What I need you to do, what I need you to do is I need you to block the road on the north side of Chickasaw Trail so that they will go in our gate. They go to this area, the corner of our neighbor's property, and they settle down and they calm down a little bit. From there, we start creating a plan to try to get them on Chickasaw Trail and push them.
I tried to get them to follow Cole and I with a sack of feed. They kept coming to the ATV and the feed, but I couldn't get them committed on the highway. So we had to come up with another plan, and that was to push them. Come on. Is that front gate open and is someone blocking them from passing it? I knew that if we could get them on Chickasaw Trail and with the help of a couple of people behind us, we could push them with our ATVs or vehicles north up to our main gate where Marissa was creating a blockade. So I sent Cole on foot through the muddy, snaky-like conditions of a creek in this corner of our neighbor's property. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's got me crawling through this chigger and thorn-filled snake pit over here. I'm gonna go try and sneak through on this other side and see if I can sneak up on the hoss herd and cut him off and kind of gently walk him through to the other side along the fence line. Oh, God, I can get out of here. Gotta go sneak up on him. Oh, you knuckleheads. So what Cole was trying to do is to go to the very far east side of him to bring him back to me. So Cole's walking through the creek and through all this brush to try to really get around these bison and they're spread out in sort of two groups at this time. And they're not sure what to do. They're just kind of stalled out, which was completely fine. It gave us time to get a plan together. Walking them your way, Dusty. Heads. Go back to your home. Head your way. And this wasn't a bad thing that they were stalled out. It got them to calm down instead of freaking out and running around like crazy. Especially what we didn't want to happen was them head the other direction. Golly, these guys. Cole eventually made his way around them to the east side to push them back to the west a little bit. And all we need is one or two to get on the main road and the rest of them would follow. Cole did a great job snuffing them out of the woods and got them to get on the road. Just go for it, I'll walk. Once some of the females committed and the entire herd made it to the road, they automatically turned and went north towards our front gate. Takes a village. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marissa's created a blockade basically with about three or four vehicles. From there, the herd just kept going north. So we slowly pushed him. A neighbor happened to see what was going on, brought his ATV over, Cole hopped in with them, and we started pushing him up the road. I thought one howling on Dalberg Road out was bad. <laughs> oh Lord, this is his biggest herd too. slowly pushed them up the road. They weren't running or sprinting, which is what I wanted to do is keep the stress level low. Kept talking to Marissa, just everybody be still, be still, be calm, and then let the bison naturally go into our front gate. The 
problem, the only thing I was worried about was when they saw the blockade turning around and coming back towards us. That, or two, they have to jump a cattle guard to actually get into our front trap of our property. Look at that good, good girls. came back a little bit as they it got crowded in that front area and they didn't want to jump the cattle guard some of them tried to come back hey, 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 hey. we tried to be big and scare them back into it and fortunately the rest of them jumped through the front gate just let them move they'll follow Everybody did a great job. Marissa coordinated it perfectly. The blockade forced the bison into our front gate where they had to jump over the cattle guard. <laughs> oh! Wherever it was. Go with your family. Back into your home. Now shut it. Oh. Go wide or you're push them through that, right? That's the pastor release turned into a street release. <laughs> Not like it was like our most wild herd or anything. No, and they were actually pretty calm. So then, yeah, they first spent the first year of life roaming 10,000 acres in Canada and South Dakota. Had all Murray County to... Murray County to roam. We're lucky uh, they just go a certain direction. Lucky they didn't go south or east. They went north, which is what I wanted them to do, or go back to where they came from, but that's always hard to do. So. Good thing Marissa went to go pick up Brooks at that very moment and saw them, too. Yeah. Or no, somebody called. Somebody called her. Okay. Yeah. My sister called me, DJ, called me and said they were out right whenever Marissa called me, too, but I don't know how Marissa found out. So, luckily, they were still in chill mode. Um, I'm sure they already had a party out in the neighborhoods here on Jigsaw Trail, <laughs> but they're, uh, they're, they're back. <laughs> good neighbors great yeah. community yeah good good people that slow down we chickasaw trails it is a uh busy road and luckily this time of the day i guess it's not very busy but people were stopping and blocking for us Oof. helping out i mean got better neighbors out here in the country than i do in the city i <laughs> broke my back building a fence laying and <laughs> stuck face down and my neighbors just drive right by so uh, you're blessed to have such good neighbors in the community out here yeah no good people and Jerry and Eli helping out and some random strangers. Man. That was a, that was an adventure. A little bit quicker than the Dunbar herd getting out though. True, years ago. true. Yeah, we didn't have to load them up on trailers or anything. Uh, that may be the first time uh, Bison uh, ran down Chickasaw Trail. A yes. herd. <laughs> since concrete's been on it. Since yeah. <laughs> the Oregon Trail. Uh, well, we got them back. Yeah, so I guess my fence checking didn't qualify good enough. So um, it's so green here. I thought, well, it shouldn't be a problem if there is any issues in the fences. But Cole and I got to go find out where the gap is. But it doesn't take much for them to get through. And it takes one to figure it out. So 
we're uh, we're gonna go see where they got through at, and I'm not sure. So well, uh, we got them back in. That's all that matters. All 27 are accounted for. So they stayed together. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing with bison is they always they want to go together. If you've got one or two separated, that's when it gets really stressed out. And I get stressed out, they get stressed out. Um, but they stay together. That's the great thing about them. They're herd animals, so they want to be together. So. And there were two of them, two of the calves at the end that didn't go with the rest of them. And they were getting worked up trying to get back yeah. out the front. And that's when I had to jump out and kind of cut them off. But, right. but you could really see the stress once they got separated. Yeah. They started going crazy. Yeah. They're real chill now. Well, if that plant is any indication of where y'all got out. I'm gonna look for that stuff right there. All right, well, emergency safety. Emergency management plan. Check. <laughs> Bison fence checking. I never wanted to have to use that plan, but we did today. <laughs> I don't want to hear it from Kevin. Oh, we found it. It didn't take us long. Where did they break? The the creek. They already oh, yeah, they I beat had, us to it. I had a feeling. Wow, we're really lucky to be able to get these bison back. There's lots of horror stories of people not being able to catch their bison. So we're very fortunate, and lucky, and we were only able to do this because of great neighbors, good people, Jerry, Marissa. My good friend Cole helping me through all this literally takes a village. We made it happen today and we got him back in. Next thing is we got to find our problems. We got to get them handled, especially at the creek crossings. This is something that we're going to have to handle and take care of. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to go over where they got out and the changes that we're making. Thank you guys for watching us.